it's story time. Story, story, story time. Let's read the story time. Story, story, story time. I'm geek the story time. Story, story, story time. You and me, it's story time. Story, story, story time. Uh, let's achieve. Hello, my beautiful K crew. And welcome to story time with me, Kayla. How are you doing on this beautiful Wednesday? I hope you are doing well and of course making sure to stay safe. Now today we have another special Arthur feature. <laughs> today we are going to take a look at a book from Arthur Steph Bloor. We had the honor of reading her very first book, Reach for the Stars, and now we are back with her second. And so, without further ado, the book we will be reading tonight is called Dun, da, da, da. Mischief Farm. Max Goes Missing. Written by Steph Bloor. You ready to see what this book is all about? Ready, set, let's begin. Whoosh. Mischief Farm. Max Goes Missing. Written by Steph Bloor. And illustrated by T.T. Backstrom. My apologies if I mispronounce the illustrator's name. Here we go. Hey, she signed it for us. It says, to Kayla, I hope you enjoy it. All the best, Steph Flora. Thank you so, so much. And shout out to all her friends and family and all her people watching. Hey. <laughs> Here we go. Deep in the country with bundles of charm lies a beautiful place named Mischief Farm. Farmer Joe lives here with his dear wife, Lily, and their animals, who are all quite silly. <laughs> he has a lot of animals. What animals do you see? Some chickens, a pig, cow, look like some alpacas, I think, goat, and, and a, a duck, goose, and a horse. One day, Joe woke up, and he let out a yawn. He opened the blinds. <gasps> What a beautiful dawn. But something was wrong, Joe thought. Looking around, his little dog Max was nowhere to be found. <gasps> Uh-oh. Hmm. Where's, where's Max at? Where's he hiding? Down in the kitchen, Joe gazed round and said, Morning, my Lily. Max seems to have fled. Lily just smiled as Joe put on his hat. <laughs> He's likely chasing the chickens and cat. Hmm, that's a good idea. Usually when the dog's job on the farm are to chase all the animals so they could go in their correct places. Max, come here this instant, Joe bellowed outside. There's work to be done. This is no time to hide. My day is too busy. There's tons to get through. If you don't come right now, I'll go without you. Mm, he's saying, if you don't come on, I'm going to leave you. You're going to get left. <laughs> then down the lane waddled Dolly the duck. I just saw Max playing by the big truck. Joe gave a nod. Oh, go look right away. It's really time to get on with my day. Hmm. So she said he's over by the truck. Big red truck. But Max was not there. He was nowhere around. The farm was so quiet, there wasn't a sound. Becoming impatient, Joe was confused. But from afar, Max was watching, amused. Oh, wait a minute. Look, Max is hiding from him. He's like, I think he's playing a, a, a prank on his owner, on the farmer, Farmer Joe. Then, clear out of nowhere, came Penny the pig. Her poofy pink dress spun as she danced a jig. Good day, Farmer Joe, she squealed with a bow. I must get going. Please don't stop me now. <laughs> oh, was, the, was she trying to distract him so he won't see where uh, Max is? Puzzled and flustered, Joe walked through the farm. Huh. Max must be here. There's no need for alarm. I'll check out the padlock and ask Mr. Lee. That horse would trade secrets for crackers and brie. <laughs> <laughs> the 
The padlock was empty when Joe opened the gate. Mr. Lee was gone, but he left cheese on his plate. Best friends Bobby and Billy were both gone too. Joe started to panic, but then right on cue, ooh, so the Mr. Lee, the horse is gone, and the two goats is gone, Bill, Billy and Bobby. A bark in the distance. Why, that must be Max. Joe went to the field to see if he'd find tracks. But when he arrived, Joe felt only despair. The cows and alpacas were no longer there. <gasps> They're missing too? Wait a minute. That's about all his animals missing. Where are all the animals? Joe gave a sigh. Then suddenly, movement afar caught his eye. <gasps> the barn, he exclaimed. The one place I've not checked. He turned on his heels, not sure what to expect. Oh, he's like, they gotta be in there. They weren't anywhere else. They gotta be in the barn. Joe walked to the barn, his expression bemused, somewhat bewildered and not at all amused. What on earth are they up to, those creatures of mine? He was suddenly certain that Max was just fine. He's like, wait a minute. He opened the door, but the barn was so dark. Then, quite out of nowhere, a dazzling spark. It was so bright that Joe squeezed tight his eyes. That's when he heard, Happy birthday! Surprise! <laughs> what? Sparkling lights twinkled ever so brightly as Max, his best friend, smiled quite politely. Happy birthday to you. We hope you are glad. You deserve a surprise. So please don't be mad. Uh, what? What did they do for him? They threw him a surprise party. Farmer Joe was stunned and completely amazed. I find myself speechless and utterly dazed. I thank you, my friends, he said with a grin. On with the fun. Let the party begin. <laughs> all his animals. Look, they all are ready to. Mm -hmm. Ready to party with their farmer Joe. There were cookies, fresh bread, muffins, and hot tea. An assortment of cheese for old Mr. Lee. Farmer Joe danced with Lily, laughing out loud. For Mischief Farm, they were so grateful and proud. Look at them. They had a good time. They played music, ate cheese, danced together. <laughs> That's one crazy farm, isn't it? Would you want to visit it? I would. And here's a little bit about our Arthur and Illustrator. And here is Steph's first book. The End. Yes, Gay Crew! <laughs> I was not expecting that ending at all. Wouldn't it be funny if your pets or your animals at home threw you a surprise birthday party? That would be kind of cool, right? I know. <laughs> now, I hope you enjoy reading this book as much as I did. To, to find your copy of this book and to check out her first book, make sure to head on over to her website and you can also find these books on Amazon. And of course, be sure to follow on social media. A big thank you to our Arthur for the submission. I definitely enjoyed it and can't wait to read more. Now, I thank you all out there for joining me as well, but it's time to say goodbye. Are you ready? Here we go. Goodbye, 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 my friends. Goodbye to you. I hope to see you again real soon. Be proud of all your work tonight. Now, climb to bed and sleep real tight. On the count of three, let's say goodnight. One, two, three. Goodnight.